Hi friends, welcome back to Veltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. My name is Vincent. Today we are going to discuss about the identification system of plus core arc welding electrodes. Let us go through that. Okay friends, so let us see how the electrode identification system works for FCAW, plus core arc welding. Uh, just Okay, if you see the FCAW wire, it comes this way in uh, various pools of different uh, uh, weights and you will find the classification this way. Here you will find it here. Uh, similarly, you can find it here. Here is E71T11. E71TGS and here also you will find the classification that is AWS classification. Now let us see how we can identify and what are the meaning of this letters. Okay, in general you will find it like uh, this way as we have just seen the photographs. It uh, starts from E, E stands for electrode. The next digit, one digit will be for strength. Strength of minimum tensile strength of the weld metal. And next one to that is position. This talks about position. Okay, normally this will be one or zero. If it is zero, then uh, it means you will be able to weld only flat and horizontal position. And if it is one, you can go for all positions. And the this T E stands for tubular, tubular electrode because the plus core welding wires are tubular. So if you find the T, that means this is for plus core arc welding. And on the other way around, if you are talking about the MIG welding or GMAW, you will find S, S for solid. Here it is T. And the next letter or digit stands for the usability and performance capabilities and also for the polarities. So let, let us see some examples. All right, here we are taking E71T and this could be anything. One, two, like here I have explained that one, two, one, two, eleven and also G and GS. So for here, going by that example, E stands for electrode and seven for Tensile, minimum tensile strength of the weld metal. That is 7 means it is 70,000 pound per square inch is the minimum tensile strength requirement. And here it is 1. 1 means all positions. You can weld all positions using this wire, using this electrode. And this T stands for tubular as I explained. And this X means this could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. It could be up to 11. As per the AWS uh, approval, up to 11 it is available right now. Earlier 9 was not there. Now the 9 is also added here. Uh, and also G and GS. This indicates type of shielding type of polarity, whether it is uh, capable of single or multiple pass and so on. So let us uh, go through some, some of the electrodes also. Uh, I will introduce uh, some electrodes which are usable for low carbon steel or you can call it mild steel electrodes. To start with we will talk about E71T1 electrodes. This classification is for FCAW gas electrodes 
can be used for mild seal or low carbon seal electrode for general fabrication and you can go for all position welding single or multiple pass can be welded and uh, weld deposition rates are very high very good in fact and dcep is the polarity that is reverse polarity next in line is almost the same but uh, better for a structural welding that is e71 t9 okay this the additional uh, property in this uh, particular wire is that it will be meeting the minimum impact requirement also so you get a deep penetration and high deposition rate you can go for single or multiple pass welding and the polarity will be dcep only so e71 t9 okay this was a new addition earlier a few years back this was not there and this is a new addition to aws classification okay now we'll talk about e70 t2 okay now in this case you are well aware that whether it is 70 or 71 71 instead of 70 if it is 1 that means you can for you can go for all position welding and if it is 0 you can go only for horizontal and flat positions okay keep it in mind again uh, okay. Uh, okay in this case we will talk about e70 t2 which is uh, again almost same as t1 wires except for higher manganese and silicon or any one of these alloys will be higher than t1 and you can go for flat and horizontal positions single pass welding please note that it is for single pass welding fast welding but single pass welding and and uh, reverse polarity okay now we will discuss about e70 t5 as the the final one and is this is very very low hydrogen levels you will get the weld metal very very low hydrogen level that means uh, it is excellent choice for welding crack sensitive steels you can for uh, you know very high quality x ray quality welding and uh, definitely you will uh, uh, get a uh, you can go for single or multiple pass and uh, the position even you can understand that it is for horizontal and flat positions only and the polarity is reverse polarity that is dcep all right friends that's all for the time being i'll be back with another video at the earliest Until then goodbye thanks for watching see you in the next